गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल एनी डाउट इन लास्ट क्लास नो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट प्लीज एस्क मी थ्रू मोबाइल ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरी 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 फेमस एंड वेरी ईजी एंड इंपारटेंट टॉपिक प्रिजम ओके listen word by word properly okay because compulsory what not two questions available in your neat examination okay one or two questions so four or eight marks in your packet compulsory available from prism so listen word by word okay listen now we are going to discuss about angle of deviation and uh, angle of minimum deviation also with the help of prism okay listen already we have studied about refraction through a prism in 10th standard yeah yes very very simple this listen this is prism first refracting surface this is another refracting surface this is base of the prism first draw a normal to this refracting surface okay what is normal yeah perpendicular this line normal to this refracting surface what is this angle very good 90 degree okay and uh, draw one normal to this refracting surface ac that's all these two lines meeting at this point okay P Q. What is this? Very good. Yes, incident ray. This is incident ray. Okay, P Q. Okay. What is this? Yeah, refracted ray. Q R is the refracted ray inside the person. What is this? Yeah, yeah, margin ray. This is the first book bag question. Remember or not? In tenth standard, okay? Yes. Incident ray, refracted ray, yeah, margin ray, okay? I one, I two, R one. R two, I one, I two, R one, R two. Keep in mind this is very very important. I one, I two, R one, R two. <coughs> very good. Angle of incident for this surface AB. Yeah, angle of refraction. Okay. For this refracting surface AC. Now this is very good. Angle of incident. 
angle of refraction or very good angle of emergence. I2 also called as angle of emergence. Coming out from the prism. I1, I2, R1, R2 like this. Clear? Then what is this? Yeah, straight path of the incident ray or direction of the incident ray. Okay. Extended. And okay. Direction of the emergent ray. Very good. Two lines meeting at here. Yeah. This is called angle of deviation. Small d. And that means angle between direction of the incident ray and direction of the yeah, emergent ray. It is called angle of deviation small d. Okay, then let us consider this is not given in your textbook. Yeah, come on, right? In your textbook, D1. This is D2. Just assume this is theta. Right in your textbook. Okay. Take your textbook, second volume. <coughs> D1, D2, this is theta. Clear? Okay. You want a more explanation for this diagram? No need. Because all are told. Okay. Shall we move to the next one? Okay. Listen. Now, that's all. Now you can write derivation very simply with the help of this diagram. Okay. Come on. Listen. Now, first angle M Q R. D what clear angle M Q R is equal to D1. Very good. What is D1 value? This is I1 now. This is fully. This is fully. Yeah, it is equal to I1. Very good. This is fully from here to Fully I1. Opposite angle no already you studied mathematics. Clear? It is equal to I1. This gap here we want only this gap D1. So I1 cutting here. Minus R1. Clear? Yeah. So I1 minus R1. That's all. It is equal to D1. Okay? Similarly, T2 M R Q. D2. M R Q D2. Yeah. It is fully like this. I2 very good. I2 minus R2. Yes, very good. I2 minus R2. Okay, then it is equal to D no. This gap, this angle. Here you must find out small d value. How? Listen. Angle R, sorry, triangle M Q R. Triangle M Q R. See this diagram, very, very simple. After drawing the diagram, you can write the derivation or uh, all the formulas very simply with the form diagram. Don't worry. M Q R triangle is equal to theta plus d1 plus d2 is equal to is equal to yeah very good you are correct 180 degree because triangle no sum of the angles of the triangle three angles of the triangle it is equal to yeah 180 degree now d1 plus D2 is equal to 180 minus theta. I am correct on that. Yeah. So 
d1 plus d2 is equal to only d minus theta very good you are correct no you are wrong because straight angle this is straight angle i am correct on that this is d it is equal to very good 180 degree this is theta 180 minus theta is equal to very good d that's all okay then d1 plus d2 is equal to d okay angle of division okay then a n what is this a q n r yeah part left right angle a q n r very good some of the angles of this this diagram a q n r very good it is equal to 360 degree very good so <coughs> angle q angle or this angle okay this angle 90 degree now yeah and this angle this angle okay listen here yeah this one yeah, this one. So, angle R. And uh, what is this? Angle of the prism. It is simply denoted by caps A. Very good. A plus. Very good. Q, N, R. Very good. Angle Q, N, R. It is equal to very good. Uh, 360 degree. Okay, that's all. Yeah, 90 degree plus 90 degree. A angle Q N R 36 degree. Okay, 90. Sorry, 180 degree. 90 plus 90 plus angle A plus angle Q N R is equal to. 360 degree. Okay. Or angle A. Angle Q N R is equal to 360 degree minus 180 degree. Okay. Or angle A. Angle Q N R is equal to the yeah, angle 180 degree. Okay. Okay. This is the equation number. Let us consider two. Okay. Then here small d is equal to d one plus d two. No. Yeah. Here we want to calculate small d also with the help of this. Okay. So before this, d is equal to d one plus d two. No? Okay, D1 value, I1 minus I1 minus R1 no. So I1 minus R1 plus D2 value, I2 minus very good R2. I2 minus R2. R after rearranging I1 plus I2 minus R1 plus R2. How sir? I1 I2 plus I2 Okay, leave it Minus R1 Minus R2 Okay, that's all So after rearranging this equation We can return as <coughs> Small d is equal to I1 plus I2 minus R1 plus R2 Keep it on mind Okay 
Now, angle A plus angle Q naught is equal to 180 degree. Let us consider this is equation number 2. Okay, then from this diagram, from here, from this diagram, here consider triangle B. Yeah, this triangle Q N R angle, yeah, very good, 180 degree. So, R1 plus R2 plus angle Q N R is equal to 180 degree. Let us consider this is equation number 3. So, here comparing equation 2 and 3. Come on, come on, come on. Tell me. Yeah, very good. You are correct. A is equal to, we can return as R1 plus. Very good. You are correct. Exactly, you are correct. So, angle A or small a, sorry, caps A is equal to comparing on equation number 2 and 3, we can return as a is equal to R1 plus R2. That's all. Okay. Then, substitute this value in this equation. Substitute A value in this equation. Okay. So, small d is equal to I1 plus I2 minus R1 plus R2 is equal to A no. So, therefore, Minus A. Very, very important this. Okay, so this is the angle of deviation. Come on, keep in your mind. Yeah, small d is equal to I1 plus I2 minus caps A. Angle of the prism. Very, very important topic. Don't forget. So, angle of deviation. This depends upon, yeah, angle of incident, angle of emergent, <laughs> and the angle of the prism also. Then, material of the prism also. That is very important. Material of the prism also. And uh, wavelength of the light used in this experiment also. That is very, very important. <laughs> Clear? I told you, very simplest uh, question, no? Yeah. Very, very simplest and 500% uh, important this for meat. Okay, keep your mind. Small d is equal to I1 plus I2 minus A. Clear? Shall we go to next one? Yeah. Now we are going to discuss about angle of minimum deviation. Angle of minimum deviation that is called a caps D. That is called a caps D. Angle of minimum deviation. Keep your mind. Okay, listen. This is uh, ID graph. What is this? What is this? ID graph. Very good. What is I? Angle of incidence. Very good. What is D? Angle of deviation. Very good. Yeah, you can say for the help of uh, this diagram. That means you can say the explanation for this diagram. Yeah. When increases angle of incident gradually, very good. Angle of deviation decreases and reaches minimum value D and then increases. So, when increases angle of incident gradually, angle of deviation decreases and reaches minimum value capital D. That minimum value is called angle of 
minimum deviation after reaching this point then increases that so so this is called the phd angle of minimum deviation okay then very very important this point keep in mind at the minimum deviation this word is very very important at the minimum at the minimum deviation this word very 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 very, very important at the minimum deviation at the minimum deviation at the minimum deviation instant ray and emergent ray symmetrical symmetrical then this is normal no i1 come on here see here at the minimum deviation i1 it is equal to i2 so this is i this also i i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i at a minimum deviation then yeah very good you are correct again r1 is equal to r2 that's all so r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r when at a minimum deviation at a minimum deviation keep in mind instant ray and the emergent ray symmetrical then one point is very very important keep in your mind refractor ray exactly parallel to the base of the prism very very important refractor ray parallel to the base of the prism okay at a minimum deviation so i one is equal to i two is equal to i r one is equal to r two is equal to r same okay then come on here come come yeah here taking these two equations this and this equation okay yes r one plus r two is equal to y i one plus i two minus y is equal to t okay what about here instead of small t yeah now it becomes it becomes this angle will be caps d it becomes caps d angle of minimum deviation so that's all okay so therefore at the minimum deviation i1 i2 is equal to i no so i plus i minus a is equal to d i plus i yeah 2i minus a is equal to d 2i is equal to Plus no, yeah, a plus d, i is equal to a plus d by two. Angle of instant. Okay. What's the purpose, sir? To calculating I value, yeah, I will tell you. Don't worry, I will tell you. Don't tension also. Okay. Yes. Then. R1 plus R2 is equal to A, no? So, R1 plus R2 is equal to A. At a minimum deviation? Yeah, R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R, no? At a minimum deviation, 
at minimum deviation at minimum deviation okay r plus r p is equal to a 2 r is equal to a r is equal to a by 2 okay that's all yeah now we are going to discuss about refractive index of the prism that is simply denoted by small n or mu already you have studied about this i am correct or not yeah small n or mu no problem come on small n or mu by snell's law by snell's law already we have studied in 10th standard yeah mu is equal to sin by sin r sin by sin r sin that is i value yeah already told you now you can understand the purpose of calculating it this value yes i is equal to divided by sin r r value yeah a by 2 that's all the refractiveness of the metal of the prism clear any doubt see here once again very very famous and interesting and uh, important question this regarding your neat exam compulsory two questions compulsory two questions so Eight marks in your pocket. Eight marks. See here. See. Any doubt? Okay, thank you.